Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Wise Wombat here, and today I'm going to be talking about what exactly is a wombat. Well, a wombat, if you hear the name, it has bat in it, but that's not necessarily what it is. It, it's not what it is at all. A lot of people think it's a, it's a bat, but not really. It's like the opposite of a bat. It's adorable. But uh, a wombat is a marsupial, if you don't know what a marsupial is. Other marsupials include like koalas or kangaroos, like stuff that live in Australia that are like mammals. So it, it kind of looks like a brown koala, but uh, with a bigger butt, basically. They're kind of like chubby, fat. There's going to be a picture of one on the screen here. And uh, there's a lot of different interesting facts that they have that I'm going to be explaining to you today. So uh, let's get started. So fact number one is that uh, there, there's going to be a lot of butt facts today about the wombats. Uh, they poop squares. Like, uh, you know how, like, rabbits poop, like, little pellets? Well, wombats poop, like, uh, like, pellets, but, like, squares. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of strange, but it's because of their bone that they have on their butt. I'm gonna say butt a lot today. It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite awkward, but anyway. Uh, they have a little bone in their, uh, butt that, uh, makes it so that when they release the poop, it, uh, it turns it into, like, a cube shape. It's kind of like a cube. So, yeah. Uh, fact number two. Wombats, uh, yeah, they protect their burrows, which they dig burrows, and they, uh, they dig them to, like, live in and, like, store their stuff in, so they dig their burrows, and, uh, when something goes and tries to steal or, like, invade their burrow, they use their, what's it called, they use their butts, again, yes, I'm being really, really talkative about these, uh, the back area of the wombat, the hiney, per se. But yes, they, uh, they use it to defend themselves. So they suffocate the animal with their butts. I know. They're, like, airtight, and so they're really hard as well, like, really rough fur on the back of their butts. So when an animal is trying to escape the burrow, they just put their butts in front of them. It's kind of like Snorlax, basically. Just putting, if you know the Pokemon Snorlax, just putting their butts in the way so that they can't escape, and then the air just starts coming. And they can't scratch at the butt because the butt's just, like, like really, really strong. So they, they won't be able to get through. So, yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, that's all about the butts, hopefully. But, yeah, I said butt. <laughs> so bad. This is so awkward. But, anyway, uh, wombats are... If they were a Pokemon, they'd definitely be a Pokemon, and they would be a normal psychic type. Absolutely. They would definitely be a normal psychic type. And then again, uh, another fact that we have about the Wombat is that they specifically, specifically, are one of the most dangerous animals in Australia. No, that was a joke. They're actually not that dangerous, but obviously don't go for one. The Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat is one of the most, it's like one of the most endangered species on the planet. It's actually uh, very, very endangered, so there I'm going to leave a link in the description to the donation page for the Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat. If you might want to go drop a donation in there, that would be really appreciated for them. And there's, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it about the Wombats. I, they're really amazing creatures, and that's why I've chosen to do it, to do this uh, YouTube thing, and... Uh, I would like to say as well that wombats really do deserve more credit because not many people know who they are or what they are. Uh, most people, when I say, what's a wombat? They go like, oh, well, is, is it a bat? Is, and I've never heard of this before. And they do live in Australia and they aren't very common. The reason they aren't very common is mostly because of the fact that they are often abused and uh, run over, um, like most of the animals in Australia, like koalas and a lot of other marsupials. But they also catch this strange disease called measles, like very often, and it's, it's not pretty. I don't think you want to see that, but I would definitely go drop a donation for the Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat Foundation because we all want to save those, these beautiful creatures. And if we hit a light goal of... 12 likes, I will donate 25 bucks to the Wombat Foundation myself. I've already donated like 20, but I will donate 20 more. So thank you so much for watching. If you really did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And if you even did, if you didn't enjoy, okay, don't leave a like. I hope I hopefully find out why you didn't enjoy the video, but 
Thank you so much for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to as well. Uh, yeah, have a nice day.